Hello parents and super intelligent students. Today we are going to talk about fast addition and subtraction human calculation algorithm. I hope you know about algorithm. If not, then definitely your parents can explain you, especially the parents who are engineers or especially software engineers. Algorithms, you can say uh, a process or a set of instruction or a way to do something. For example, to make uh, a tea, there is an algorithm that you have to mix water with sugar, with tea bag, with uh, milk, and you make a tea, right? If you want to add ginger or uh, other things also, that is fine. So same way, there is an algorithm to do fast addition and subtraction. Of course, it starts with learning the pattern in the numbers to learn how the numbers are built, which we discussed uh, shortly or uh, in a summary in lesson one only till 99 how there are patterns in all the numbers the numbers are uh, built from zero to nine digits only or you can say total 10 digits and with the help of these 10 digits they have made infinite numbers just by rearranging them giving them new positions like ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousand in some cases even decimal like one tens one hundred and we will learn about that as well so now building on uh, what we learned in patterns so first you understand how the numbers are made. Now you understand what is most important thing before you jump into the arena of fast addition and subtraction. And do you know what is the most important element of, uh, you know, a building? Like how do you make a building, a house or a palace? Answer would be, I think a brick. If it's a small house or some big palaces, they may be using the blocks. So what are the bricks or the blocks of number or number system? The bricks are only 10 type of bricks. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the beauty is all these bricks are related to each other. These are consecutive numbers. 1 comes after 0. And if you add one more brick in this, it becomes 2. If you add one more brick, it becomes 3. But if you add two bricks here, it becomes 4. If you add three bricks here, it becomes 5. So there is a relation between all these bricks. Now you can make huge buildings. Huge buildings which can even reach to the end of universe and still the numbers will not end because we have been able to formulate numbers which are enough to cross this universe and maybe jump into the multiverse another universe so now let's see so with these zero to nine numbers you made all the digits now if i'm asking you let's do 28 plus 28 what you are basically doing 20 plus 20 which is 40 so it is 2 plus 2 only 4 and 10 so 40 2 tens plus 2 tens 40 8 plus 8 is 16. Again, 16 is 110 and 6 ones. So 40 plus 110 more 50 and plus 6, 56. So here, what addition I have really done? Because mostly I'm talking in terms of unit. When you say tens or hundreds or thousands or 10,000 or lakhs or 10 lakhs or crores, all these are like units. We don't worry about that too much if we understand the unit. That means you add kg with kg, you add gram with gram, you add milligram with milligram until unless it is more than certain value where you have to take the carryover or transfer some value to the higher degree. So here, for example, when we did 28 plus 28, 20 plus 20 was very easy, 40. But 8 plus 8, here we cross that limit, you know, of single digit. You went to the double digit. You went to the tenth position. It, it, the answer became 16. And here what we did was we gave 10 to 40 and became 50 and then 6. So that what we really have done. We have added 2 plus 2, we have added 8 plus 8, and then later on we added 4 plus 1, and also uh, 0 plus 6. So, all the additions which we did, actually we use number only 0 to 9 if you see. And this is the mental math process, or a Vedic math process, or even a Bacchus process. In all the fast calculation technique, you are going to use only 0 to 9. Now, why I am telling this human calculation algorithm? Because this is the first instruction. I would not say it's the whole algorithm. We would learn much more than that in lesson three, where we will really do the calculations and see how easy and how you can use different techniques, how you can distribute the number to make your life easy. But before that, you need to understand there are only these many questions in the world. If you want to count zero plus zero, zero plus one, if you see these are 10 questions, 10 questions only. Although these 10 are so simple, you don't even need to write. These are 9 questions. These are 8 questions. Because now here, why I am starting 2 plus 2? Because already we have covered 2 plus 1. 1 plus 2 is same as 2 plus 1. That's why I have not written it again. 
So here there are eight questions only, then seven questions, then six questions, then five questions, then four questions, and then three questions, and then two questions, and then one question, and there is a pattern here also. And you will learn probability, then you will understand how these probabilities come out because of certain patterns in the numbers. Now if you add all these, let's start from here, 10 plus 9, 19, 19 plus 8, uh, 27, 27 plus 7, 34, 40, 45, 49, 52, 54, 55. So the total is 55. And there is a formula even to directly come to the 55. Of course, we will learn that in future. In fact, I have covered in one of the fast square technique also, because there in fast square technique, I will even teach you how these numbers can even give you the fast square, just the counting and the reverse counting. Now let's come back to the topic. So here we saw there are only 55 questions for additions. Similarly, 55 more questions for subtraction. So there are only, you can say I'm writing here, 110 questions in the math. Only 110. And in that, as I told you, these are very simple. So you can straight away remove 20. So you don't even need to learn that because 0 plus any number is same number. So actually, I would say only 90 questions. But thing is, this 90 again, please don't memorize, try to understand. When we say 1 plus 1, why 1 plus 1 is 2? Because that's how we made a number. If this is 1 and I put another 1 item here, I call it 2. I have just given the name. I could have given any other name, but I have given the name 2. So that's how the counting is done. So once you learn all these things, and now question is how to learn? Of course, you learn by practice. So many kids, what they do is, they are already doing it till grade 1 or 2. But later on, somehow, because of, you can say, our weakness, teacher's weakness, parent's weakness, we are not focusing on kids. And it's never a mistake of a kid or a student. It's our mistake. Because of that, they start feeling fear from math. The reason is they are not able to solve certain questions and they feel that I cannot do it. Same like, you know, any sports. If I'm playing a good, I'm playing cricket, good cricket, I would like to play cricket. If I don't know how to play cricket, I don't know how to hold bat or how to ball, I would avoid it. Math is also safe because it's a sport. If you're good, you're good. If you're bad, you're bad. But thing is, you can improve. And who has the responsibility to improve your kid? It's you and your te and I mean the teachers in the school. But of course, I cannot outsource the whole responsibility to teachers because teachers have the responsibility of number of multiple students, maybe 40, 50, maybe 100, 150. But you have responsibility of only your kid, maybe one, two or three at the back. So now question is, who is going to take this responsibility? Please take the responsibility in your hand and how we practice this. So in our tuition, what we do, we tell kids, okay, let's play a game. What you do, take one single digit number, let's take three and add all the single digit number, of course, except zero because that is too simple and everybody knows about it. So take all the number and one by one add. For an example, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 4 is 7, 3 plus 5 is 8, 3 plus 6 is 9, 3 plus 7 is 10, 3 plus 8 is 11, 3 plus 9 is 12, 3 plus 10 is 13. Okay, 10 was not required because only 9 is a single digit. But anyway, you saw that once you start doing single digit calculation, this will help you in double digit also. For example, 33 plus 33 is 66. Why? Because 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6, 66. 32 plus 33 is 65. Why? Because 3 plus 3 is 6, 2 plus 3 is 5. How you do double digit or three digit calculation fast? If you know single digit, if you know here I need to make a brick or put a brick to make a house, here another one, then you make a big house. So to build a great house, you should have understanding of bricks. To become a great mathematician, you should have understanding 0 to 9 and start adding these numbers fast. And I know sometimes kid would be afraid as this is very, very obvious. Because first time whenever you do it, it would be slow for any person. Even it would have been slow for Albert Einstein or a Newton. But there is a Hindi saying, I don't know there is a saying in English or not. Dar ke aage jeet hai. Yes, so if you want to win over the fear, you cross it. Or there is another very good dialogue in Batman. If you want to kill the fear, become fear. And how do you become fear? By becoming a great mathematician or a great in calculation. So start doing these exercises. Let's do one more for you. Let's take now bigger number 8. 
8 plus 1 is 9, 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 plus 3 is 11, 8 plus 4 is 12, 8 plus 5 is 13, 8 plus 6 is 14, 8 plus 7 is 15, 8 plus 8 is 16, 8 plus 9 is 17, 8 plus 10 is 18. Again, I said 8, 10, but you don't need 8 plus 9, 17 was enough. Now, many of the adults or parents or, you know, elder students would say, this is so easy. Why I'm teaching this on YouTube? And I think nobody teaches it. There is a reason behind it. Because sometimes the thing which you think is very easy is actually the foundation to math. You know how? Because you can do it. Anybody can do it. 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 plus 6 is 11. But the question is how fast you can do it. If you are doing 5 plus 6, 11 or 5 plus 6, 11, how much time you are losing? It's like a relay race, you know. You know about relay race, right? There are four runners. So the first one will run and he will hand over the baton to second one. Then he will hand over the baton to third one, then to fourth one. If first runner is slow, second runner is also slow by 10 seconds. Both third runner is also slow by 10 seconds. Fourth runner is also slow by 10 seconds. How slow the whole race? You will lose it by 40 seconds. Same is with number. If in single digit you are slow by two seconds, if you are doing a three digit question, maybe you will not even be slower by six seconds. It's not even linear because then your mind or brain will hang because you are so slow in single digit. When you will see a three digit number, you will be either fainting down or just run away from there. But if you are very fast, you will say, let it come. I will solve it. That's the spirit of mathematician. Just like a great batsman. You know, when Sachin used to play, when he was facing Shoei Bakhtar or Bradley, he was more happy because he knows that when the fast ball comes, I'll hit a six and people would like it more. It would be better entertainment than hitting a spinner for six. So same way, solving a difficult question is much more fun than solving an easy question. But it starts unfortunately or fortunately with easy question. So start doing it easy question, but concentrate or focus on time. Unfortunately, in our schools, they don't tell you it's not only about accuracy. It is also about speed, how fast you can solve all the questions. Because if you are more fast in future, when you will finish question paper in two hours, you will have one hour just to recheck your question paper and identify all the silly mistakes and correct it. And when you will go to the competitions, when you will have 200 or 150 or 100 questions in just maybe two hours or one hours, you would be fast enough to spare some time for the difficult questions as well. So try focusing on speed as well. That's why schools are promoting the Olympiads. They are doing a great thing. If you're not participating in the Olympiads, participate in that. You can start with our Olympiad, which is almost free with a cost of tea. It is Mass Jadugar Olympiad. We are soon going to conduct Olympiad for mental math. And then next year we will have a math Olympiad also. But please participate in Olympiad, whether ours or any Olympiad, because there your kid will get difficult question. Of course, you have to prepare for that. And we are ready to make your kid prepare with our webinar, with our videos, with our content, with our practice test on our website. All the details are below. You can go to our website, do the free practice test, improve the math and appear for Olympiad. But because if you don't give the tough questions, they will not become a tough mathematician. If you're expecting a magic is going to happen, magic doesn't happen magics are created and created by a hard work and that hard work starts with the basic algorithm single digit once you understand the pattern taught in lesson one once you understand this simple calculation you are ready for fast addition and subtraction which will be our lesson three where we'll show you how to do fast addition with mental math or you can call it vedic math whatever but it would be really lightning fast thank you very much